Hi, I'm Bob Weir with another interview of People in the News in North Texas. My guest today is Ron Robertson, running for Mayor of Copper Canyon. Thank you for being here, Ron. Thank you. Thank you. Please begin by telling our viewers something about your background. Well, my political background, um, I started getting involved in po local politics in Coppell in uh, 1986, where I was appointed to the, the Parks Board in Coppell. In 1989, I ran for the, the City Council. I was elected in 1989. I served eight years in Coppell on the City Council, where four of those eight years I served as the Mayor Pro Tem. I was chairman of the, the Budget Finance Committee. I, I chaired a $40 million a year budget for the City of Coppell. Um, after my term of eight years, I, we relocated to Bartonville, Texas, where in, in 1999 and 2001, I ran for city council. Um, in 2002, I ran for mayor un, un, unopposed, where I served as the mayor of Bartonville for uh, 12 years. Uh, after 12 years as mayor of Bartonville, um, I stepped down and we a couple of years later, my wife and I relocated to Copper Canyon. And you're a businessman in the area. I, uh, I run one of the t top 25 pool companies in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife and I started it 35 years ago. Uh, we're at recognized across the United States as the top 25 builders and pool companies oh. uh, in oh, currently. Right. All right, as a former elected official, what practical experience do you bring to Copper Canyon? Well, as an elected official, I understand uh, the, the general law uh, of government. There's two forms of government, general law and home rule. Fortunately, I've been involved in both forms of government. Uh, I understand what is legal and what is not legal. Uh, I know how to build bridges. I know how to build consensus. Uh, I know how to inform the citizens about uh, things that will affect them. Uh, whether it's in their backyard or across town. Um, I'm able to uh, get information out by holding town hall meetings where people can come and stand up and ask questions, and unlike a, a sit-down council meeting where they feel like they're unable to. Well, what do you think uh, are the uh, most important issues facing Copper Canyon residents now? Copper Canyon is getting ready to be affected and it already is proven to be a somewhat in, in, in growth. They have a big corridor down 407 on the north side of Highway 407 that's going to develop. And it's going to develop and it needs to be developed uh, with planning. It needs to have controlled growth. Uh, it needs to have some, we need to have some retail commercial on the, on the outside fringes to help support it. Ad valorem taxes do not support a town. You must have some type of sales tax or commercial base. Um, that's probably the, the main issue because that will help support infrastructure maintenance. Uh, you've got roads that need repairs. They have roads that need to be rebuilt, but they can't afford to do it unless they have the revenue to do it. They currently operate with right at three months of operating expenses in the bank. So in other words, if everything stopped tomorrow, they could only function for three months. And that is way below what should be the case for a town of that size. Um, and I know that we can, we can improve on it. All right, let me uh, go over a couple of the issues that uh, you said to me that you, you will do if you are elected mayor. <coughs> um, one is, and you can respond to each one, uh, is to create a development review committee to simplify the zoning, platting, and development process. Yeah, this is a, this is a committee that's actually most all cities have. Uh, and Copper Canyon has a small part of one of those, but it's truly not a functioning D DRC that would actually helps move zoning process quicker. So my proposal is the same thing I put together in Bartonville is you put together two members of your planning and zoning commission, two members of your council, your town planner, be it a consultant or in staff, your staff, city manager, town administrator, engineering if necessary, you bring your fire chief in if necessary, and your water department if necessary, which all those would have to, you know, you got fire suppression, you got water supply, you've got legal, that's a committee that meets on a given 
day every month if there's an applicant. The applicant must make submittals of what they want to do 10 days in advance. There is a fee charged to that applicant because we have to pay consulting people, be it the planner or the town attorney. So they have to pay a fee. They bring and submit their plans and their concept. And at that point you have PL planning and zoning. You have city council people going, I don't believe this is going to fly. I think you may have to make some changes. We, I don't think we want that many lots. I, we see a different plan for that area of Copper Canyon, whatever the area might be. So you send the developer away with more of a concept of what's going to be possibly be approved. All right, so then another one is you would review and update the 2004 Comprehensive Land Use Plan and Development Ordinances. Yeah, this is a plan that should be updated every five years. Copper Canyons was last updated and created in 2004, so it's 15 years old. It should have been updated three times already. Demographics change. It, and they're changing everywhere right now. You have big property owners that are either selling off passing away, something's happening, and the kids are getting this, these large chunks of property, they don't want them, they want to subdivide them. And if you don't have a proper master plan, you, you can't properly plan your city. And if, if it's 15 years old, you're, five, you're three revisions behind already. And they're just not proactive in controlling their growth and what's gonna happen in Copper Canyon. Another one is to reduce the unnecessary wasteful spending on legal and engineering fees. If you look at today's engineering fees, so last this, this fiscal year they had a $50,000 budget to do road repair. Okay, They spent $45,000 on engineering. They spent almost a dollar per dollar for engineering on to roads. Typical engineering costs are 8% of a project. So what they should be doing is they should go out there being and naming a project and then having the engineer design the project and he gets the fee of 8%. And the legal fees, the city, the current mayor will not let staff make decisions, do agendas, approve agendas, approve plats, or do anything that they're quite capable and have the proper certifications to do, everything must go to the city attorney. The city attorney's fees are over $100,000 a year. Average over 60, and this year they're on projection, they've already spent 64,000. Well, which is over 10% of their current budget. Uh, well, that uh, seems to uh, tie into what you said uh, next. Uh, bring control back to town hall by allowing staff to do their jobs without political meddling and micromanagement. Yeah, these are fine women with uh, uh, very much uh, the qualifications and certifications that they have gotten through TMRS, through TML, through, uh, you know, they, they have all the certifications they need. They know how to do their job and the city, city mayor will not let them do their job. Everything has to go to the attorney. Uh, you want to also evaluate the cost of the agreement with the Denton County Sheriff's Department for patrol service. We have a department where, if you look at the current budget this year, between municipal court and the cost of two patrol officers, we're going to lose $100,000 this year. $100,000. Wow. You want to work toward a solution to improve the MS for drainage issue that plagues many citizens? The uh, drainage problems start upstream. In this particular case, they start in Lantana. There's one Poindexter Creek branch that dumps into Lakes Louisville. Floods all the time. Tremendous amount of erosion. So development haps happens, but nobody's paying attention to downstream problems when they allow the development. It goes back to the master plan. Good master plan, you know, you plan. You, if you proper planning, you, you don't have to defend. Right. All right, I'll just quickly add the other two things that you, are, you mentioned. You want to work diligently to reduce the tax rate and create an atmosphere of transparency in all areas of town management. You know, tax, taxes are, are the generation of one penny to the town of Bartonville generates $25,000 a year into the budget. The, past, the current mayor over the last, since 2006, has passed up two opportunities for major sales tax opportunities, and they walked away from them. 
Um, at the same time, we were developing Kroger's in Bartonville. All right, then I'm going to conclude by just mentioning there is a Copper Canyon debate coming up on April 7th at the Town Hall at 2 p.m. And uh, I want to thank you for being here, Ron, and uh, good luck in the election. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching.